think the word entrepreneur is bandied about too loosely. Does that make me a troll? If you think so, awesome. I don't think so, great. Who cares? Who cares? There are probably too many bad businesses getting started and not enough good ones. Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan, my one word is believe, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message. Figure out if you're an entrepreneur. Over to you, Simon Sinek. Also, if you wanna know what Simon and other successful entrepreneurs have to say about building unstoppable confidence, check out my 254 Confidence Series where every day for the next 254 days, I will send you a morning video for free to help you build your confidence. The link to join is in the description below. You get the benefit of hearing what everybody else has to think before you render your opinion. What guarantee do I have that your stuff will work? To which my answer was none. It's like a hammer. You can use it broadly or narrowly. You can build a table, you can build a house. It's the same tool. <laughs> I think the word entrepreneur is bandied about too loosely. Mm. That not everyone who owns a small business is an entrepreneur. There are small business owners and there are entrepreneurs. What's an entrepreneur? And you can find entrepreneurs in big companies. It doesn't mean that they're small business owners, right? I think entrepreneurs are problem solvers. I think rather than risk takers. Yeah. I think fundamentally, there are plenty of risk takers, I think, who are entrepreneurs. There's a risk taker if you're a small business owner, right? You went out to start the business, but they're not the same, I don't think. Um, and entrepreneurs are those ones who, they're constantly looking to solve problems. And that's where I think they perceive opportunity or the mischief that you describe. I don't think, it's, I don't think inherently it's a sense of mischief. They're not trying to stir the pot for the sake of stirring the pot. I think that they see something and they're like, we can make that better or we can fill that hole. And that's very much the way the famous entrepreneurs, the Elon Musks and the Richard Bransons operate. They see gaps. They see things that don't work. As did Jobs. As did Jobs. They see things that could be better. Are they, I mean, Elon Musk was just interviewed by Chris Anderson at TED last week. And uh, Chris Anderson, sort of near the end of the interview, it's online, go watch it, it's really great. Um, uh, Chris Anderson asks Elon Musk something to the effect of, why, why are you doing all these things? Like, why don't you just stick with Tesla and be done with it? Like, why do all the other stuff? And you look at, and Musk, you can see this look on his face and he takes a long time to answer. He actually doesn't understand the question. He cannot understand why you wouldn't do that. And he sort of gets emphatic, which for Elon Musk is pretty amazing because he doesn't get emphatic. Um, but that's basically what it is. He gets emphatic and says, because I want to live in a world that's better than this, or words to that effect, you know, where I'm not where the world that we're living in right now makes us unhappy, why don't we want to live in a world that makes us happy? You know, he gets sort of, he can't understand, and again, yeah. it's vision first. And that's why he doesn't understand why you wouldn't try and solve problems. So some small business owners are entrepreneurs, some aren't. Some people who work in corporate are entrepreneurs, some aren't. What is the definition of an entrepreneur? Who cares? Why spend time thinking about the labels that people call themselves? If you think you're an entrepreneur, great, you're an entrepreneur, amazing. Somebody else thinks you're not, who cares what they think? Who cares if somebody thinks that you are not an entrepreneur? Why does it matter? I don't understand why we spend so much time thinking about the labels that other people put on us. Honestly, I think it's just because you need validation. You need to feel like the thing that you're doing is right. You need other people's validation of your ideas, of your labels, of your identity. And that's a losing game. You know, I, I play League of Legends. I'm, I don't play a lot. I'm a silver four, silver five player. Am I a gamer? Sure. Now what? No? Awesome. Now what? I like to main Teemo. Does that make me a troll? If you think so, awesome. I don't think so. Great. Who cares? Who cares? How does this make your life better? If somebody else thinks that you are an entrepreneur or not, how does that have any bearing on what you need to do? Zero. Stop caring so much about other people's validation. It does not matter. This conversation holds you back from actually taking action. So I'm going to give you three ways on how to be confident and need less validation from other people. Number one is move from what to why. Move from what you are, what label you identify as, or what label other people are trying to put on you, the what to the why. Why do you do what you do? Not what are you? 
I'm a white guy. I'm six feet tall. I have some brown hair. I have brown... Who cares? None of that matters. Why do I do what I do? That's what gets me up in the morning making videos for you guys. I want to try to solve the world's biggest problem. That's my why. You can call it whatever you want. I don't care. Your what is not going to hold me back from accomplishing my why. The why, the why, the why, the why is so much more important than the what. What's your why? Move from what to why. Step number two is find your one word. I think it's one of the most important exercises you can ever do in your life. What is the one word, most important core value that you stand for? When you know what you stand for, it gives you a rock. Like you are standing on a rock where there's quicksand all around you. Other people's lives are quicksand. Somebody else calls them a label and they freak out and their life collapses. Somebody says you're not an entrepreneur and, and like your life is over. Your entire life is based off of quicksand. I want you to stand on a rock. You are on a rock so that nobody can push you from that rock. No matter what wind comes at you or what insult is hurled your way, whatever label somebody tries to put on you, it doesn't matter because you're on a rock. The world's on quicksand and you are on a rock. You get it yet? You're on a rock. <laughs> That's your one word, most important core value. I'm about belief. You can hate belief. You, you could say belief is the worst thing of all time. A lot of people don't like belief. They don't like my messaging. Awesome. That's not gonna change what I think about belief because it's at the core, it's at the core, it's the rock, it's at the core of who I am. And when you find that for yourself, when you understand what is at the core of you as a human being, you are much less likely to be swayed by other people's opinions and labels on you. Find your one word. And step number three is inoculate yourself against judgment. Anytime you feel yourself shrinking, playing small because of somebody else's opinion of you, then you have to go and do that thing. If you want to label yourself something, you want to call yourself an entrepreneur, but you work in a big Fortune 500 company, if that's the thing that is on your mind that is messing with you right now, that you want to call yourself an entrepreneur, but you are a senior vice president at Coca-Cola, the best thing you can do, if you recognize it, if you catch it, that you are unwilling to share it because of the opinions of other people, you want to label yourself that, but you're not doing it because other people are judging you. You need to smash that out. If you can catch it, most of the time you don't. Most of the time we play small with by default without ever noticing. But if you catch it, you want to call yourself an entrepreneur and most people think you're not, go and update every social media bio of yours and put entrepreneur. You want to call yourself a gamer, even though you're <laughs> silver four or silver five at League of Legends, amazing. Go to Instagram, go to Twitter, go to YouTube, go to LinkedIn, update your bio to say gamer. Own it. You are not allowed to play small based off of other people's opinions and judgments of you. And you start immediately in the small wins. Something like that. Something like just updating your Instagram bio to have the label that you want to call yourself. Like if you can't do that, how are you going to go off and accomplish your big goals? Whatever big dream, big goal, big aspiration, big mission you have for yourself is going to come with a lot of negativity, a lot of judgment because you're trying to change the way something is done. Even looking at me, I want to solve the world's biggest problem. That's only positivity. But there's going to be people who hate on it because it involves changing the way some things are done. The people who love the status quo will always fight against the people who want to change it. So you want to change it. You want to do some big thing and change it. That will never happen. You will never get the courage to do it if you can't do something as simple as updating your Instagram bio. So I want you to inoculate yourself against judgment. As soon as you feel it, if this is a label you want to call yourself but you're worried about other people, then you, you have to do it. You ha No option. You have to do it and train yourself because the next time you're worried, you'll do it again. And the next time you're worried, you do it again and again and again and again and again. And slowly you'll be able to handle bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger levels of judgment. And then that thing that seems so huge before is nothing to you and allows you to go off and actually go out and accomplish your mission. Inoculate yourself against judgment. Now I've got a really special bonus clip that I think you're going to enjoy. But before that, it's time for the question of the day. I want to know what is one fear of judgment that you are going to crush today. Leave it in the comments below. I'm curious to find out. My best business is, you know, solve problems, reduce stress, make people's lives easier. Because that's what we all look for. 
yep. right? In school, you want to get through class, you want to get good grades, and you're looking for the best way to do that. When you start a business, you want to make your customers happy. You want to make it so that they don't think about going anywhere else. Um, but again, you always got to think about your own consumer experiences. What is it about, what is it that you look for? And that tends to guide you. Would you buy from your own company? You know, and you got to be honest with yourself because not all companies are going to be great, but my most successful companies understand that. I actually think you should think twice before starting certain types of businesses. So I think um, there are probably too many bad businesses getting started and not enough good ones. So that's, it's, um, you know, it's, I, don't, I, don't think there's, I don't think there's anything about entrepreneurship per se that is, um, that is, is good. You know, I was talking to one of my friends uh, a few years ago. I was asking him, what do you want to be doing in five or 10 years? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really clear, I want to be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. That's like saying, I want to be rich, I want to be famous. Um, and I, I don't think, uh, I don't think- those are, those are good things, being rich and famous. Are good. Um, they're not good as direct goals. Like if you, if, you, if you have that as your sole goal, you're unlikely to, I think, really, uh, really succeed. And so I think you become an entrepreneur because you're working on an important problem nobody else is working on. I think you should start a business if you have uh, something, if you're, if, if you're working on a problem that otherwise would not get solved. So let me give you the one word secret to happiness. One word, this is all you need to be happy. The most important word ever. If you had to think of one word that's most important to you or that sums you up or that would be kind of like a little beacon, if you want more Simon Sinek, I highly recommend checking out the Infinite Game video that we did on him. It's right there next to me. Go click it, continue to believe, and I'll see you there. When the leader creates an environment in which people feel that someone has my back, they will do extraordinary things. Success is a feeling. 